we learn about the brand new Smiling Critters characters. These are new Poppy Playtime characters that you have never seen before. Batty Bell. Look, family, it's a bat. Usually I'm scared of bats, but this one's really cute. These new Smiling Critters are made from animals like a pink rat, a brown bull, <laughs> a funny cow, and even a ghost. Family, the smell of lavender is supposed to make you calm. But how are we supposed to remain calm after we just found out she's awake? That is crazy talk. Then after that, we made Poppy Playtime 3 into candy. And even learned how to make giant smiling critters characters like Catnap and Hoppy Hopscotch out of clay. Whoa! This is the creepiest version of Catnap I've ever seen. Cuddle Nuggie with Blanket and Family Hoodie with a mini baby nuggie. Available now at shopalexia.com. Go get your limited edition item before they sell out forever. Smash like on today's video if you want to meet the brand new smiling critters. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes, family. I know we could do it. Because if we don't, you're going to turn into a smiling critter yourself. And not the cute ones like Dog Day or Bobby Bear Hug. You're about to be transformed into something weird and stinky. Like Cat Nab's red breath. Family, what are you doing? Smash like. Today we're learning about the brand new Smiling Critters characters. But before we do, we have to see something very, very important. And that is obviously looking at candy. Smiling Critters into candy, that is. We're about to make our favorite character catnap into a cake. Okay, so our catnap cake is cooking in the oven. So now as we wait, we are going to try and make Bobby Bear hug. You know, the cute red bear. Hmm family if i were a red candy which red candy would i be oh wait a second i know that candy that is a very interesting candy called turkish delight <gasps> put a couple of those on the plate add some eyeballs and then boom you got yourself a bobby bear hug with a very oddly oversized mouth maybe he can eat more hearts that way sounds like a lot of protein next up we have our girl crafty corn you know the very spooky unicorn Critter. Family, are unicorns real? Yes or no? Because the horn on top of her head is kind of looking like a swirly ice cream cone. <laughs> I'm suspicious. And apparently we didn't even have to make crafty corn ourselves because we have just bought her from the lollipop section. Her horn is a lollipop. Just try not to eat it too much because you might grow a horn on your head too. Ooh, I don't want a horn on my head. I already have a horn in my mouth. Are you ready? Ready? Beep, 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 beep. See what I mean? Next up, we got Baba Baba Finn, the really cute elephant. And Baba Baba Finn is super nice, right? Because he has a light bulb on his chest. And that means he is bright, just like the sun. So to make this blue giant elephant, then what better to use than a giant box of Rice Krispies? Mix some blue chocolate in your Rice Krispies and mix, mix, mix. And you got yourself a batch of Rice Krispie squares that can hear every word you're saying. They got giant ears just like an elephant. Actually, your Rice Krispie squares are an elephant. Bop a bop and to be exact. So enjoy. Next up, we got Dog Day. Ooh, I love Dog Day because I love puppies. Okay, how are we gonna make the orange colored Dog Day? <laughs> Wait a second. This is genius. We made the orange colored Dog Day with this chocolate orange. So now he won't only be the color of oranges, he will taste like one too. I like chocolate, but that's just a bonus. Kicking chicken! I love you because you remind me of chicken nuggies. And family, kicking chicken is yellow. So we are using these yellow cough drops to make them. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't look like a chicken. That looks like a bunch of lemons that got confused for being bananas. Banana meringue pie, anyone? No, um, wait a second. That's supposed to be lemon. Next up is Piggy Piggy! Oh, 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 wait a second, why were those pictures creepy? <gasps> but you know what's not creepy, family? Cotton candy! Because we just made Piggy Piggy out of pink cotton candy. Family, can you guess the next character that we're about to do? I have a hint for you. It's somebody who hops. It's somebody who jumps. It's Hoppy Hopscotch made out of, um, um, corn pops? Wait a second, family. Why are those green? I think something's wrong with them. Maybe that's why they're growing that green mold out of their face. Expired. 
Oh, look, family, look. It's our cake that we started making for catnap. Okay, now we are covering it in purple icing because for some reason our cake was red. And on the eyeballs and the mouth. Oh, and the half moon made out of a sour bee drink. And ta-da, we have a catnap cake. Whoa, that catnap cake looks delicious. And then, family, here we have a bonus Poppy Playtime three character made out of candy. And this is the gas mask. He's a giant mask that's supposed to protect you from any weird smoky things coming around you. Well, family, now that the smiling critters are out, I think that the mask, I think that the mask is to protect yourself from Catnap's evil red breath. Oh! And what better way to protect ourselves from evilness is lollipops. <laughs> with bubble gum attached on top. Family, comment down below secret characters as a secret word in today's video and I'll heart your comment. Family, next up, I'm gonna show you the brand new Smiling Critters characters. All right, family, look at these animations. These are fan-made animations from people who love Poppy Playtime and they have come up with character concepts for brand new Smiling Critters. Bull Bolino. <laughs> that sounds funny. We all know that if a group does not have a big member, it is not a good team. In the Critters, there is the strong bull, a real friend, but above all, a professional in music. He's very delicate with instruments and teaches his friends how to use them correctly. Okay, Bull Bolino, are you a bull or just a bully? <gasps> but look, family, Bull Bolino's scent is chocolate. That's delicious. Next up, we have Sweet Sheep, a sweetheart of a character. Sweet Sheep is the outgoing listener of the critters, always being the one to go out and observe the outdoors, often has a tendency to be a bit rambunctious when excited. Uh, what's rambunctious? Rambunctious. Uncontrollable, exuberant, boisterous. That didn't help at all. A few moments later. Okay, so I think rambunctious means excited. So Sweet Sheep has really good energy. <gasps> and smells like sage? Sage is supposed to be a smell that calms you down. But apparently Sweet Sheep is very excited. Whoa! Musical melody? This purebred puppy loves to enchant her friends with her beautiful vocals. She lives to entertain and maintain her natural curls. Family, is this me as a smiling critter? Because I have curly hair. And I also love pink. She is so cute. This is definitely my favorite Smiling Critters character so far. Family, make sure to comment down below which one of these brand new Smiling Critters character is your favorite too. Oh, look at this one. Symphony Mouse. This is Symphony Mouse. She is shy but likes having fun and meeting new friends. She loves singing every day even when it's time to sleep. She sings lullabies when her friends want sleep sweet dreams. Oh, how cute of her. She sings to her friends to make them fall asleep. And her scent is geranium, which is a type of flower. Okay, okay, what is this? Candy coon? Family, that sounds like candy corn. Or like crafty corn. This is candy corn, a brave, courageous member of the Smiling Critters. They always try to help others if they're afraid and reassure them to do new things along the way, keeping them out of trouble too. Wait a second, family, what animal is this? I think it's a raccoon. And I think that's also why their name is Candy Coon, because their scent is lollipop, which is a candy. And they're a raccoon. Coon. So that's why the second half of their name is Coon. It all makes sense. Whoa! Sammy Sweet Tooth meets Sammy the petite and lively critter with love for all things sugary. Whether it's donuts or caramels, Sammy can't resist a sweet treat. But be cautious with your valuables around Sammy as he may surprise you with a playful prank. Wait a second, is he gonna steal my stuff? Family, that is not a prank. That's called stealing. Whoopsie dearie. Whoopsie dearie is clumsy. She teaches her fellow critters about safety and self-awareness. Whoopsie dearie does try to follow her own advice, but she's just too clumsy. Wait a second, family. I know who this is. This smiling critter character is a deer. I love it. And her scent is gardenia. That means she smells like a garden. Because if she smells like my garden, then that thing be smelling like a tomato. Writer's fox. Family, this animal 
animal is a fox. Writer's fox likes both reading and writing books. They take pleasure in teaching their friends grammar and vocabulary. And they're always outside under their favorite tree, reading to their friends or to themselves. Oh, family, look, and his badge is a pencil. I love reading books and I read all the time. Family, comment down below if you love reading too. I love reading because I love to learn new things. And books are a great way to do that. Cammy Hideaway? Cammy Hideaway is the shyest critter in the group. She's always hiding and gets nervous in large crowds. Cammy likes talking to other shy people and tries to make them more confident so they don't end up all shy and alone because everything is better with a friend. <coughs> Excuse me, moi. I'm about to go cry. Pixel Rat! Pixel Rat is shy, but once you get to know her, she will open up her heart. She loves to play games with her friends and invites everyone to join. It doesn't matter if you're the best or not, she is always up for a game. And her scent is Peony, which is a very nice flower. Aw, family, look how cute she is! She is a pink rat, and her badge is a chess piece. So she must love playing chess. Chess is a very hard game for very smart people, so... Pixel Rat, if you ask me to play, you might be playing by yourself. Or with a block of cheese, your choice. Lucky Lion! Lucky Lion is the friendly social members of the critters, teaching them what's right and what's wrong. And he tries to help them with anything they need. Whenever life ain't treating you well, Lucky Lion will be there to sprinkle some of his good luck onto you. Ooh, and his scent is mint. And he has a four-leaf clover on his chest. Or one two, three. Actually, he has a three-leaf clover on his chest. So I thought it's only the four leaves that are lucky. Maybe he ain't so lucky after all. Batty Bell. Look, family, it's a bat. Usually I'm scared of bats, but this one's really cute. A caring, sensitive little bat, Batty Bell is often keeping to her friends. She loves to explore and go on her own independent adventures. Sometimes she gets lost and has to ask for help because Batty isn't so good with directions. Down is up and left is right. It all goes topsy-turvy. With a hunger for adventure and always a full belly, despite loving the outdoors, Batsy Bell always wants to return home. Mm, that's so cute. And Batsy Bell's scent is marshmallow root. Oh, do you think because marshmallows kind of taste like black licorice and Batty Bell is the same color? I love marshmallow. And I actually love licorice too. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ziggy Zaggy Puss? <laughs> what is this name? Ziggy Zaggy Puss is a sleek and agile platypus critter. Family agile means that he's really fast. With a waterproof coat that shimmers like a gentle stream. His fur has a unique pattern in vibrant blue electric yellow that looks like underwater currents. Ziggy's webbed feet and tail are designed for swift navigation through aquatic realms. Family, look at his feet! These webbed feet help him swim in the water better. Night Sky Nita. With playful leaps and curious twirls, Night Sky Nita adds a touch of whimsy to the smiling critters. Always changing chasing stars and seeking hidden wonders, her boundless curiosity sparks joy, creating a constellation of laughter and delightful surprises. Whoa, family! I'm not exactly sure which animal this is, but apparently whoever they are, they love to explore at night because they like to see the stars and the moon and the hidden planets. <gasps> Wait a second, family. Do you think Night Sky Nita's ever been to space? That would be epic. Impishiggy. <laughs> what a prankster this little fella can be. Impishiggy never shies away from making pranks on the critters. Water balloons? You might have a couple around. Best stay clear of this little guy or you may just be next on his list. And his scent is sour gummies. And no wonder he loves sour gummies. Because apparently he loves to make people feel uncomfortable. Like that face when he eats sour candy. You know what I mean? Silly Willy? <laughs> what? Family, this critter is a yellow bunny that kind of looks like Hoppy Hopscotch. Silly Willy loves to play tricks on the other critters and sets up traps for them. He loves to play games and cheats whenever someone else is about to win. His trickery and deceitful nature make it hard to befriend him. And the other critters find it best not to invite him to play? Oh, family, look. I think that's why Silly Willy is doing this. He's saying shh. 
Don't tell anyone. <gasps> and his scent is popcorn. Family, I think he's evil. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This critter kind of looks like Dog Day, but it's actually called Kiko Shiba Inu. A curious little dog who likes to explore the sky at night. Kiko wants to explore the sky at night because he thinks he might be seeing a UFO. Since he watched a movie about aliens trying to take over the world, he got curious and his new wish is to meet one of these aliens. <laughs> His badge is an alien head. Wow. Do you think he's gonna meet an alien? Aw, and his scent is cinnamon rolls because they are the same color as his fur. And family, look at this. Ghostly Kitson. Ghostly Kitson enjoys misleading people to believe she is normal, but in reality, she is a strong user in the art of witchcraft. She enjoys doing the most beautiful magic tricks under the rainy sky. Her scent is lavender. Family, the smell of lavender is supposed to make you calm. But how are we supposed to remain calm after we just found out she's a witch? That is crazy talk. And she also looks crazy too. Why does she have nine tails? Probably from her magical potions. All right, family, since you made it to the very end of today's video, I have a very secret surprise for you. I'm about to show you how to make your very own smiling critters at home that are made out of clay. Okay, look at this. This is the small miniature version of catnap that we can learn how to do. And what you gotta do for that is you gotta get some purple clay and mold it in the same shape as catnap. We got an egg looking shape for his chest and then itty bitty arms and legs. Ooh, a big giant square for his head. And we're even adding on his cat ears. Ta-da! A baby mini catnap. But family, that is not all I'm showing you because we are gonna take that baby catnap to the very next level because look at this. We're about to make the creepiest version of catnap that you have ever seen. And it's gonna make you scream. And that is how to make this giant version of Hoppy Hopscotch. Okay, first thing you gotta do is get all of this clay and mold it and uh, somehow make it look like a green bunny rabbit. Wait a second, family. That clay isn't green. It's like a very light peachy color. But look what we just put on their body. It's a lightning bolt because a lightning bolt is the same badge that Hoppy Hopscotch has. <gasps> and we're molding out his eyeballs, molding out his mouth, and even molding out his nose too. Bunny rabbits have the cutest noses ever. Oh, and then we're attaching the different parts of clay with toothpicks and that's what allows the different pieces to stick together. Oh, and now we're painting the Hoppy Hopscotch green. Whoa, this looks like a giant ball of slime. Oh, now we're coloring in the eyeballs. Family, we are almost done our Hoppy Hopscotch creation. Color on the tongue pink, color on the lightning bolts yellow, and family, look! This is our giant version of catnap from Bobby Playtime 3. And we made him at home. I love it. All right, family, are you ready for this? We are now about to make the creepiest version of catnap from the smiling critters that you have ever seen. Okay, I know you what you're thinking, family. You're saying, Alexia, catnap is already spooky enough. Well, family, yeah, you may be right, but... <laughs> On this channel, we like to get a little crazy. So we thought, why not make him spookier? Whoa, look. We are attaching different pieces of clay to those silver rods. And what those silver rods are doing is holding the clay in place. Okay, this is the base for catnap. Ooh, and we're putting clay on top and molding it like the ground. <gasps> and now we're putting the catnap creation on top of the base. And now we can really start to get to make our character. What is coming out of catnap's tushy and why is it so long and why do their arms look so long too and his face looks creepy oh man now we're coloring the base black with dots of yellow and red too wait a second i recognize these colors family these are the colors of the floor in poppy playtime now we're adding in a big pool of red or ketchup or blah blah blah, blah, blah. and i'm starting to get creeped out okay hey, huggy wuggy what are you doing here, bro? And why do you look so scared? Oh, no, it's catnap again. And we're coloring in his eyes. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, chicken egg -yo. He's starting to look more real. Family, the sculpture is done. Whoa, this is the creepiest version of catnap I've ever seen. Oh, catnap is eating Huggy Wuggy. 
That's why he has him in his hand. And family, you all know how big Huggy Wuggy is. But look how big Catnap is compared to him. Oh, man, family, I'm so excited for Poppy Playtime 3. Smash like if you are, too. Go get your limited edition cuddle Nuggy plushie at shoplikedo.com. There's only a couple of them left. Me and all the Nuggies love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.